I'm continuing my series of Magnus Carlsen's best 10 finishes. And in the last video, I left you with this position where Carlsen has the white pieces. It's a Spanish and black has just played bishop takes pawn. Now, that bishop can't be taken because there'll be a knight fork. But Carlsen came up with a wonderful solution here. He played his queen to h4. So now there is a threat to take the bishop and also the queen hangs on to the knight. So the bishop has to retreat. Now, with all white pieces massing round black's king, you feel there has to be a way through. But it's not that simple. You might think, well, a bishop takes bishop takes knight and, and then a check. But actually the king goes in the corner and suddenly the queen is under fire, has to retreat, and things aren't that simple. But Carlsen played instead pawn to e5. Now this is a wonderful move. So this just opens up the bishop's line here. So, and also, you know, the, the, the rook's line is opened. I mean, with all the white pieces in active positions, it's something has to work for white here. But e5 is a wonderful move. So this was taken. Pawn takes pawn. And now once again, bishop takes knight doesn't, doesn't do the job, but knight h5 check first. This is tremendous. So, well, black has quite a few alternatives here, but let's, let's say uh, king takes knight here. Well, then in this case, you give a discovered check, the king goes back, and then bishop takes knight, and, well, white hasn't even sacrificed any material, but this is clearly absolutely crushing with this queen about to come in here, or queen h6 check, and, well, all kinds of nasty things going on. So what are the alternatives to this? Well, you could hide in the corner, but then now it's very simple. So let's play bishop takes knight. That gets recaptured, and then the queen nudges back to g3, and this is absolutely devastating. I mean, that's just only one of white's threats. So after knight h5, obviously the acid test is what happens if this knight is captured, which is what happened in the game. But now there is a devastating finish. Queen takes knight, check. Giving up the queen, but now the rook slices down, checking the king. The king took the knight and now rook takes pawn. Is mate, that Rook guarded by the bishop, and there's no way out for the king. Wonderful. Nice bit of calculation from Magnus Carlsen. So let me give you the next puzzle for you. Now, this was played in 2003. So Carlsen was uh, 12 years old. Now, he's playing an Icelandic grandmaster, Helgi Gretersen. And in this position, well, Carlson has sacrificed an exchange, uh, but he has active pieces, got a bit of a space advantage with his pawns. Black King is in the middle. There are some dark square weaknesses. Objectively, should be better for black. But this is one of those situations where Carlson has such a powerful initiative. This is hard for black to defend. First of all, he nudged his queen back here. So that means his queen is gonna come in on dark squares. So looking at these dark squares here. So that's a good start. So the queen and knight, very often a powerful attacking duo. Just watch out for them in this game. So, it could be a threat to check here or check here. So the king just just nudges to the side. Queen e5, powerful centralization of the queen, and that queen also defends that pawn. It was under fire. Rook g6, queen h8, and Carlson just grabs a pawn back. 
Now black starts a counterattack. You can see the queen and the rook hitting the bishop. Check from the queen, and that's blocked by the pawn. Bishop f3. Now here's an interesting moment. So the bishop has come here. Black could check with the rook, but let's see what happens. Carlson has calculated that in fact in this position, his queen and knight and bishop are going to checkmate the king. So for example here, check, this is just one possible line. The king comes up, queen d8, and now c5 is checkmate. Very nice. So in this position, instead of checking, black played e5. Now he's hoping to open up this bishop and maybe get some kind of counterattack against white's king. Also, it opens up the line for the queen here, wants to play queen takes pawn check. So suddenly, looking dangerous, but Carlson played b3 to protect that pawn. Now, e takes d4. This knight came back to g3, so he's trying to get his rook in. Bishop g4, rook e1, check. King came to the side, bishop e4, hitting the rook that came back. h3, attacking the bishop. The bishop retreated, that was probably the fatal error. Now it's over to you again. How did Magnus Carlsen win from this position? This is really elegant. See you in the next video.